Macron's speech at the G20 about Africa, where he yes. said there's failed states and he said that people have too many children, has given rise to some controversy. Has, has something been misunderstood about it? I mean, I know there are many, I, I've received many messages from people saying that it seemed uh, a, an impolitic way to describe Africa. Are you, have you picked up on this at all? He oh, gave no, a speech that's widely... Sure, sure, no, of course. But no, I was not aware of that. And uh, President Macron's commitment to uh, Africa and to an enhanced partnership between the uh, United Nations and uh, not only the AU but also uh, regional and sub-regional organizations is in Africa is, uh, is total. And so his commitment is here, France's commitment is, is here. That's why he went to uh, Gao literally in, the, coming, in the, the days after his election. That's why he went to uh, Bamako a few days ago to um, push the G5 style force uh, after the resolution uh, uh, 2309 that we uh, unanimously voted. So again, his commitment is, is uh, second to none, should I say. I think it was the statement about having too many children. Does, does France work on population? I mean, is that, was that a French position? Mm. Yeah, but uh, on this, I, I need to, to get back to you, oh, frankly. Thank you. Ça va? Merci. There was an answer by François Delattre, perhaps put in a difficult position by his president's speech. If other heads of state gave a similar speech about too many ch women, children per woman in a region, it would give rise. It gave, this one has given rise to quite a bit of controversy, although not at the UN for reasons that we've otherwise described. But we're going to put it online and cover today's DRC meeting, whatever France's position is. Okay.